Sean's uh, question, which I, I really <laughs> liked, and uh, I was fired up about. <laughs> he knows how oh, it man. Uh, it says, um, is really a, a number 11 receiver in the league, or is he a top five receiver in the league? Nate, Ooh. I'm going to start with you. Yeah. I, I'm See, I'm kind of – I'm kind of torn between. I mean, I'm not gonna put him at number eleven. That's that's blasphemy, disrespectful, right? Because, <laughs> um, but I can't put him at number five because it's uh, it's this receivers are freakish and they are talented. So it's like, you know, Calvin really can bring it. You know, he's talented. So it's like I'm kind of torn. I don't know where to. To I know I ain't gonna put no rookie, no first year wide receiver over. So, but I mean, just to, I didn't even have time to even go over a list, but five more, you know, Devontae Adams, you know, uh, Stefan Diggs, you know, I mean, you got to put Julio Jones, you know, I mean, Mike mm-hmm. Evans. I mean, the list goes on and on. It's like Calvin really can Mike be. Evans is – I'm just going to say it. Mike Evans Mike is not Evans. better than really, but go ahead, continue. He's nice, though. I mean, but that's nice. – it's like he nice. has his own – Nice, but that's what I'm saying. I'm just naming off. I didn't put them in no or, uh, particular order, but I mean, it's just that's hard, dog. He ain't no, he ain't no top. I mean, he ain't no eleven. He's uh, he's a lot better, but it's it's so a lot. What, so where, so where would you place him? Oh, now nah, we gonna get this answer today. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting out of this. We gonna get he this. He might need to see the list again, man. He might need to see the list again. That's a that's a lot of receivers. Right. Okay, okay. If they placed him at number eleven, and you see him. Yeah, he's at they number did. eleven. Yeah. In the top one, yeah, where, not where would him. you place him out of all the receivers? Yeah, yeah, Nate. Yeah, I'm kind of asking Nate, but now I'm gonna get to you. I put him. I put him at six or seven. I put him at six or seven. Six or seven. Yeah, I put him at six or seven. So who's over him? I mean, I put him over Amari Cooper, and I like Amari Cooper. You know, everybody say Amari Cooper is a good route runner. Not he ain't better than Calvin Ridley. Really. I'm sorry. Well, you well you know, um, technically, a lot of people got Amari Cooper as the best route runner. A lot yeah, of people. exactly. I know, but I don't think I think Calvin. Uh, and I ain't Calvin taking Cooper. nothing away from uh, Cooper. If you ever seen his route run, he is a yeah beast at route running. So I ain't taking nothing uh, away from that. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of route runners out there that. Yeah. It's hard to place. Really. Yeah, it, ain't, it ain't too many like Cooper though. Cooper is he's special, man. He's yeah. special when it comes to rap. I mean, really, but he Alabama boy, so it's like yeah. <laughs> all all of them in that mode, man. All of them come from Alabama, and run them routes, man. That's so, what they do. I mean, yeah, you could probably if you really just really really think about it. I mean, Keenan Allen, he's a good route runner. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's one of the so best. Many. And say, I got so, no issue with that. Eleven yeah. probably yeah. might be a good spot for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Time is like my fat me, me being a dirty bird. Me I don't want him that far down, but uh, me, like I said, six or seven. I'm staying with six or seven. I'm staying all right, seven. Sean. Moving to you because <laughs> I want to hear this. No, nah, no, nah, man. I mean, I agree with Nate, and it's like when you really think about it. And again, I'll say this Calvert, first of all, I'm glad Calvert really um made, made the uh. The um, the top 100, excuse me, you know, because he's number 65 and he didn't make it. This is first year making it. And and I think this is about to be his fourth year in the lead. So so first off, I'm glad he made the list. Um, You know, when you rank, you got to think, though, guys, receivers and defense. Well, you got to think it's at least three to four receivers on the field, you know, possibly at a given time. So for Calvin Ridley to be the 11th ranked receiver, and we understand when he came in his rookie season, him and Julio was that one-two punch. It was like, ooh, he's scoring more touchdowns than Julio. Yeah. Although, you know, it's not always about the touchdowns, it's about the receiving yards. And Julio, Julio always is up, up you know, he's, he's an elite elite. You know, so with Calvin Ridley, man, he did it last year. Um, last year was, was, was last year was definitely a breakout season. He's already had, I guess, the breakout season his first couple of years. He's been consistent, but last year you seen with Julio being our majority season. Hey, this is our guy. This can be the guy. I yeah. will say this though, as a Falcons fan, a lot of times I did see Calvin really, and it's, it's nothing bad on this game at all because he's a great route runner. They showed it too, but a lot of times I see Calvin really explode in the first half. And a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, it's like, ah, where's Ridley? You might see a, a Russell Gage or, you know, that's – it's like when you when you need – I'm not saying he can't make the big play when you need it. I'm not saying that. But I will see a huge explosion on the first drive, the first couple drives of the, the first half. And then Calvin really might – you might not see him at least 
possibly for the rest of the game, or even just you know it might be a, a spurt or a moment. You know, so with Calvin really, you mean after quick, he got over a hundred something yards already? Yeah, yeah, like like yeah. you might have like a hundred yards or something in the first half, or 80, 85 yards, or something like that. All I'm saying is this: I just I, I think when you look at it, being number ranked number eleven and this being your first year. Um, on the top 100 players list, I don't, I don't think it's a bad thing. I know us as Falcons fans, we wouldn't see higher, but I'm yeah. end off with this. So you know they had Devontae Adams one, uh, Devontae Adams one, D Hop two, Stephon Diggs three. Um, I can't remember the exact order, but I know, like you said, Mike Evans I think was maybe number eight. Uh, Keenan Allen was probably Keenan Allen was I think nine. AJ Brown was was ten. DK Metcalf was ahead of him. So this is about seven receivers. Um, um, I already said Stefan Diggs. I'm trying to think of some other guys, but um, again, oh, Julio Jones was ahead of him. And I mean, I, I was Mike Thomas. I don't think Michael Thomas, Michael Thomas probably was. I don't know. And I, I understand that the, the, the injuries Michael and Thomas, everything. Michael Thomas was ahead of him too, which is. I think it might have been. That might be 10, but. Yeah, that's, remember, that's like, good. When, when you, exactly, exactly, Nathan, when you really look at it, I mean, it's it's kind of tough to say he's flat out better. I understand the injuries. <laughs> I understand the injuries, Travis. You you like you like you like pointing toward, but when it's all said and done, these guys is playing. I mean, when these guys are fully healthy, and these are about the players, Travis. It's about the players. <laughs> it's like I mean, it's it's really so much better. It might it might be, it might be a no. It might be like like this much. So I don't I really don't disagree. I'm glad to have Ridley that high. And Mark Cooper wasn't on the list. These guys were on the list because of the performance. They didn't have Dak. Maybe they would have been on the list. CD wasn't on the list. Justin yeah. Jefferson was ahead of him. I don't know. I'll be honest with that. I don't know about that one. He he did have the most uh, – he did set the all-time rookie records and stuff I guess, last year. But I'd like to see a little bit more from one year. So that's probably one I probably disagree with. But at the same time, did he have a better season? Yeah, but at the same time, eh, it's, it's kind of – it's a toss up with that. I don't want to say he's just overall better than Ridley, but did he have a better season last year? Last year, it's debatable. So I'll leave it that. I don't no, think the rank is that bad. I, I will say this: of course, <laughs> uh, a lot of these receivers are gonna have better seasons because they got better quarterbacks throwing them the ball. Majority of them. Travis than, said that than, than Matt Ryan. So oh, of wow. course they're gonna be. Uh, they're gonna get a lot more yards and stuff. You got to think Ridley got that with Matt Ryan. He got over a thousand yards and ten touchdowns. With a top Ryan. ten quarterback, you said though a top ten quarterback. Yeah, though, I, I get said. it, I get it. But the a lot of like, imagine if Kevin Ridley was with Aaron Rodgers, what mm -hmm. would he have? Think about that. What would he really have?